happening today is the um, Freedom to Read Festival at the Iowa City Public Library, where the 781's The Library Band is playing music to an array of wonderful activities. You can come in and you can meet with some Human Rights Commission staff to talk to you about how reading and intellectual freedom is a human right. You can connect with the LGBT Iowa Archive and get your library card there to check out materials, or you can enjoy crafts, snacks, and just being together in community in a shared love of literacy. Intellectual freedom is important because free people read freely. At the Iowa City Public Library, we ensure that folks have access to services that help them understand their community, their future, and their identity through stories and information. Libraries stand on the First Amendment, the right to read, the right to speak, the right to to write. We know that there's a fire hose of legislation that's happening in Iowa that kind of erodes the trust that we have built in Iowa's uh, libraries, whether they're school libraries public libraries, private libraries, or academic institutions where we represent the libraries we serve through library services and materials. Um, it's sort of devastating to understand that the social institution that is a library is being eroded even though it comes from the people. Volunteers serve at the Friends Foundation, volunteers serve to sit on library board of trustees, um, on school boards, and through reconsideration committees. And so losing that opportunity to come together as a community and decide what we need to have to pursue the future and be benefited together it's just, a, it's a tremendous loss. But today is about celebration. Today is about holding on to those values, holding on to trusting your community and making sure that free people can read freely. Supporting the community's intellectual freedom means being incredibly good at what we do and informing you how you play a part. This is a community that um, serves its library by using it, coming to programs, signing up for summer and winter reading, and we are a library that reflects that brilliant community by listening to what you have to say to us about your collection, your services, and how you want to access your library, whether it's on the bookmobile, at events like this, or connecting with you even at a deposit collection in your neighborhood. So beyond serving as your community and access services coordinator that's making sure that we're limiting those barriers to check out public promotion of what we have to offer and outreach, I am honored to serve as the Iowa Library Association's president and also on the executive committee for the American Library Association where every day we are focused on the work of how to access materials better for you, how to safeguard freedom better for you, how to secure your privacy and your intellectual pursuits every day as a citizen. I always say the best form of advocacy for a library is to use it. So sign up for your library card, use it here or at home digitally. Make sure that you're connecting with us at programs and then ask us about the process because the process involves you. We want to make sure that we are seeing you as a volunteer, seeing you as a patron, inviting you to conversations at the Board of Trustee meetings and making sure that our policies and our procedures reflect your values. Thank you so much for focusing on intellectual freedom. It is a matter that touches the lives of every Iowan, but everybody in the United States, and I'm looking forward to reading freely with you.